All right, guys, another illustration tutorial. Today, we're doing avocado. So without further ado, let's jump into it. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna grab the ellipse tool, and I'm gonna start by just drawing a big circle. Thicken that stroke up just a little bit. We're gonna duplicate this. We'll grab my selection tool, move that up just a tad, and we're gonna shrink it a little bit. Something like that. Kind of looks like a snowman, right? I want these to be the same width. Now I'm going to take them. I'm going to come over to my Pathfinder tool. And I'm going to do Combine All, Convert to Path. Now I'm going to grab my Direct Selection tool. Grab both of these points right here. Just stretch them out as far as they'll go. Perfect. And so now we've got the basic shape of our avocado. So I'm going to throw this stroke up just a little bit. Maybe like 20. Again, I'll probably come back through and adjust all this stuff. But for now, that'll work. I'm actually going to change the color of this stroke to this dark green I have over here. It looks black, but it's it's really a dark green. Awesome. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to duplicate it. But we're going to come over to here and we're going to go... We're going to change this uh, stroke to inward. So it was on center, but I want it to be on inside, right? So now I'm going to change the color of this to my, uh, to my like darker green. It's not a darker green, but it's, it's darker than uh, that one for sure. All right. Awesome. So I have that there. I actually need to send that layer behind. So we sent that behind, but the problem is we can't see it because this one has a fill. So we're going to turn this fill off. Now we can see it, right? And so I need to grab it. I'm going to throw this stroke even further maybe something like that 26 i like to keep like even number so we'll do 28 and that's looking good i'm liking that so far uh so what i want to do too is i want to change the fill color i'm going to change this to this like super light green great so now you should start seeing where this is going this should start looking like an avocado what i'm going to do is i'm going to come over to my layer panel i'm going to create a new layer throw that to the back and I'm going to create a background just because I'm tired of looking at a white background. So there's the background. Don't need a stroke. And I will keep this the same color. I like the contrast that it gives. So we're just going to keep that. Uh, I'm going to lock this now that it's in a good place. I don't want to accidentally move it. And we'll come back to our layer up here that has our shapes. Next, we need to grab the ellipse tool. And we're going to start creating the, uh, the little pit, right? I think that's what it's called. So yeah, grab the ellipse, stretch that out. I must have this on the wrong layer because I cannot see it. And so we'll drag that to the top, make sure it's nice and center. And we're gonna throw a stroke on this as well. Maybe like 16, I think 16 might be good. We're gonna change the color of this. This is gonna be again, that dark green. And you should see, I mean, you should really start seeing where this is going. Uh, what I want to do next is I want to get some depth in here. So I'm going to create like a, it's like the back of the avocado. And so it's going to give that, uh, that illusion that we're at 3D. So I'm going to take my pencil tool and I'm just going to trace the line of this left side right here. Okay, great. So now we have this background or this back shape of the avocado. It starts making this look a lot more 3D. So what we can do next is get into my favorite part. We can start adding the highlights and the shadows. So I'm gonna come and add a new layer. We're gonna start with the shadows. So this pit right here, I want this to have a shadow. Instead of drawing it, I'm actually gonna take this and I'm gonna duplicate it. And then I'm gonna grab another one. I'm going to grab both of these, come to my Pathfinder, and we're going to minus front, convert to path. Again, change this fill to that dark green, and we don't need a stroke, so we'll turn that off. Drag that up here, and we'll drop the opacity, just like this. And now you start getting some more depth to that. I want to make sure it's put in the right spot. Maybe like 30%. Awesome. All right, so I'm gonna come and I'm gonna add another layer. This will be my highlights. So I'm gonna use the pencil tool for this and I'm just gonna use white. 
And now I can start adding highlights wherever I think highlights should go. So one right there, maybe, maybe one up here. I don't like that one. Let's do another one. Yeah, that's that looks good right there. Maybe something like right here. All right, so I've got all these highlights in a good place. Now I'm gonna come over to my blob brush and I'm gonna turn this white and I'm just gonna add a little texture inside of the avocado. This is more like a stylistic thing. It's just something that I think is fun, um, but I think it's gonna add a lot. So I'm just gonna go through and start adding these little dots and you might not even be able to see them very much. They're not super present, but they're just enough to give it some texture. Don't go overboard though. You don't wanna to add too many of them. They can be a little distracting if you have too many. I'm actually just gonna move this one up a little bit. And I think that's good on the balance of these. Nice. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna throw the opacity down, maybe like 65, because it's a little bit too harsh right now. So I think that's good. Let me move that just a touch. Great. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the whole shape. I think I wanna tilt it just a tad. And that'll give it some, maybe some movement a little bit. And what we're gonna do next is we're going to create some leaves. So these are actually really easy. I feel like people might overthink these, but you shouldn't, they're very, they're super easy. So we're gonna take one ellipse, take another one. I wanna come over to our Pathfinder and we're going to intersect. Boom, just like that. And what I wanna do is I want to create a stroke and obviously that stroke is going to be the same color we've been using. And I want the fill to be, I want it to be this like green color. So let's turn that stroke down a little bit and I want to squeeze it just a touch. And we're gonna bring it over here I'm gonna drop the whole thing a little bit. It's a little too big. Let me recenter everything. Something like that. I'm gonna increase the stroke just a little bit. Maybe like 16. What I wanna do next is I'm going to, I need a stem, I need something for it to connect to. So I'm gonna grab my pencil tool and I'm just going to connect it. Super easy. If you hold the shift tool, it'll create a straight line for you. So you don't even have to worry about that. And I might round this just a touch. Nice. Actually, I don't like it rounded, so we're not gonna round it. And I wanna create another one. So I'm gonna duplicate and we're just going to rotate. This one's gonna be smaller. So hold shift, shrink it. Maybe something like this. I wanna bring it all the way to the front. I want this color to be a little darker. I'm just going to darken it up a little bit. Nice. And I want to add a little bit. I'm going to grab my pencil tool. I want to add a little more uh, details to this. So I'm going to have this be the background color, no stroke. I'm just going to take my pencil tool and I'm going to create a nice little line right here. I'm going to do the same thing on this one. And that adds a lot of character to that. All right, so this thing's really coming along. It's getting in a good spot. I'm gonna come through and I'm gonna add another layer. And now we're gonna grab the pencil tool again. I'm gonna create a stroke and it's gonna be that dark green color that we've been using. And I'm just gonna add some accents where I think there might be some movement. So maybe a little bit there. Maybe something like down here, something up here and maybe something on the side over here. And I'm gonna take all of these, grab that whole layer. I'm gonna come and add, increase the stroke. Let's do eight. And that just adds a little bit of movement inside of here. And what I want to do next, grab another layer, take this all the way to the bottom, and I'm going to create like a drop shadow. So just draw that out. And I want to place that in a good spot. 
So there's more weight on this left side. So I want to put it over here to the left just a little bit more. I think that's good. Move this just a touch. All right, so what I want to do last is I'm going to grab my avocado. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to throw it all the way over here. And I'm going to get rid of some of these things I don't need. Don't need this stem. And this one's actually going to be the opposite side. So I don't need the pit right here. I'm going to just make this a little darker so it looks like the inside. Get rid of my shadow. I'm going to group this. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to flip it. Perfect. I'm going to shrink it a good bit. Make sure to hold shift when you're shrinking. And I want to throw it over here in the background. So we're going to put it all the way in the back. I'm actually going to take this, put it back here. Maybe increase the, the size just a little bit. I'm going to take all of this. I'm going to grip it and I want to center it. If you followed along, you should have an avocado, something like this. Super simple to make and looks really nice. Would look good on stickers or prints. Hopefully you guys enjoy how this came out. Well guys, that's all I got for you. If you followed along, please share it with me on Instagram or send me an email. I'd love to see what you made. If you liked the video, you already know what to do. Until the next one, peace.